This is the caravan and camper show in Warsaw, Nadarshan. Today is the 22nd of October 2017. It's a Sunday and you can see ebercamp.pl called a traveller. It's a pod that goes on the back of a truck. In this case, it's a, an Aveco truck. It costs approximately 65,000 euros. That doesn't include the cost of the truck. That just includes the habitation area at the back. So I presume that you could actually put it on the back of something else if you so want it. I presume, I don't know. Let's have a look inside. Right, immediately on the left, we've got a bed, which is a, an unusual shape to make the most of the contours of the van. We've got some drawers below the bed. On the right hand side, we've got the electrics and the lead lighting. Uh, immediately in front of us we come in and we have what I'd have to call a rather large shower with a very good plug hole. I'm meaning really the plug holes now having seen the problems uh, it is trying to get uh, the, these nets to stop all the bits coming out. I don't want to get all these bits in your van but uh, unless you've actually lived in a van and maybe don't really understand that. Anyway, uh, here we've got the table, which is in a rather unfortunate position, I would say. Now, I'm uh, pretty thin. Let's see if I can get through. Well, I can get through that side, although I probably couldn't get through that side. So if I sit down here and then you pull the table across, well, that's relatively easy. I've got the same device, exactly the same device in my van, though mine's probably older, which is the reason it doesn't come across so easily. Okay, it's a small uh, living area, um, unfortunately not connected to the driving area, so um, okay, that explains why there's so little room around the table. Now for your kitchen prep, you have a bit of space up here, though it might be difficult to actually use that. And you've got a table below which uh, comes out. Let's come round and have a look at it. There you go. They put this in other vehicles as well. In all honesty, one burner in a small amount of space such as this makes a lot of sense. And uh, it's small but deep ish sink. And if we come down here, we get storage down there as well. And there's blessing knives and forks. So you could put a fridge or something down there, or a cool box if you so desired. Music up there. Well, it's an uh, off-road vehicle, and uh, if, uh, I'm sure it would be relatively okay if you were going to Africa or something like that. <coughs> anyway, let's have a, another look at it from outside before I finish. Oh, <laughs> oh there's a and there's a catalogue as well. There you go. It's called a uh, cons construction of campers and well, containers, Ex expedition containers, there you go, and there's their, their campers they do as well, which you can see in other films. <laughs> 